Family and friends are mourning the loss of a hero. Sergeant Savad Johnson was pronounced dead Saturday morning after diving into the Detroit River to save three girls from drowning. Those girls returned to shore safely. However, Sergeant Johnson did not. His courage and desire to impact lives extended beyond the fire department to the stage. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson with more. I have heard so many incredible stories about Savad Johnson, how much he loved his family, how he gave his all with everything that he did, and how he loved telling stories in hopes that he could inspire others. Ladies and gentlemen, keep the noise happening for Savad right here, right now. Sergeant Savad Johnson was a regular at NPR's Moth Story Slams in Michigan. Producer Patricia Wheeler met him at his first big event two years ago. All of us were completely in love with him from the first time that we met him. I've been a... Detroit firefighter for 24 years now. <laughs> Detroit firefighters are some of the best in the world at what we do. But truthfully, we've had a lot of practice. He would get up and, and blow us all away with his charm and his wit and his uh, incredible selflessness every month, month after month. Sergeant Savad Johnson was a father of two girls, the son and brother of firefighters and a 26 year veteran of the Detroit Fire Department himself. He lived what he spoke about. He was awarded the Medal of Valor for saving a life while risking his own safety back in 2017 and inspired his co-workers to dive into challenges like the Tough Mudder. He loved his family. He loved his fire department family. Friday night, he gave his life, saving three young girls struggling in the Detroit River. It's the story of his life, going to rescue strangers. Storytelling was another way Sergeant Johnson had hoped he could offer a lifeline. I felt connected to what he said, and I felt inspired by his, by his story. And that is what storytelling is about. And, I'm sure and he was a master at it. He wanted to motivate Detroit youth. He also wanted to be able to talk to adults who who maybe felt like they were stuck in their lives or wanted to change change the path that they were on. During the pandemic, Story Slam events were canceled. Sergeant Johnson published motivational YouTube videos. And while he'll no longer be taking the stage, Moth producer Patricia Wheeler wants his family to know. And I want them to know that their dad was loved, that Savad was loved so much by everyone, everyone that he touched and he will be so dearly missed. His legacy and his stories will live on. If you'd like to hear more of Savad Johnson's stories, we've got links on our website at WXYZ.com as well as a link to a GoFundMe page for his family. In Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. We stand strong for his family and everyone that he has touched. Thank you, Jennifer Ann.